Live from the Principality of Monte Carlo, the playground of the rich and famous, but here's a man who's neither of those things. It's your host for today's quiz, Mr. David Croft. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monaco. It's the greatest race of the season, so we've brought together the greatest minds in the Formula One paddock, certainly the fastest minds in the Formula One paddock, and their friends as well. On my left, it is Team Fettel. Sebastian, thanks for coming along. Who have you got with you? I've got Tanya and Davide, two experts that have been uh, working in Formula One for a long time, so I hope they cover all the things that I don't know. Is there anything you think you don't know about Formula One? There's a lot of things I don't know. I don't know your age, for example. <laughs> and you're not going to find that out either today, I'm afraid. It is not one of our questions. Uh, team Raikkonen, on my right. Kimmy, welcome. Who's with you? Some bloke. <laughs> and a woman. Yeah. And Federica. Kimmy, you've been talking to this man for the best part of 10, 12, 14 years. Do you actually know his name? Uh, Ted, yeah? Ted. Kimmy, nice to meet you. Yeah, good. <laughs> it's great, he's got the first question right. I think we can move on to round one, ladies and gentlemen. It is true or false? <laughs> we start with Team Fettel. Uh, it's a 50-50 chance. It's true or it's false. Um, Do we have to be ready to hit the... No, no, no not for this one. <laughs> <laughs> What a shame. Because that would be for the buzzer round, which comes up later. It's the only reason why I'm here is for the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> well, we save the best till last on this one. Um, tell me, Sebastian Fettel has the highest percentage of pole positions in a Formula One season. Is that true or is that false? The highest percentage Look of at the pole answer. positions in an F1 I think it's season. True. You think it's true? Yeah, I don't know. I think I had one year where I was 14 or 15 poles out of eight, 19 races. You had 15 in 2011 and that was a percentage of 78 and a half good old days but <laughs> nigel mansell <laughs> yeah <laughs> but nigel mansell had 40 uh, in 1992 okay. and a percentage uh, of 87 and a half shorter well, season shorter, shorter season, season. Yeah, yeah it's true it's true no points Always. there kimmy's middle name is matthias <laughs> you don't know i don't know so help Davide? help tanya I don't, know, I don't know. Is it true or false? 50-50. Um, Tanya says it's true. And Tanya is correct, ladies and gentlemen. First point. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just the worst high fives I've yeah, ever I'm seen. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay, we have to do it again. Go for it, go for it. Yes. <laughs> Um, Shell. Actually not correct, you know why? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> because it's uh, the whole name Kimi and Dot. There's like a line, I guess. Oh, like a hyphen. Yeah. hyphen. yeah, and yeah, and so Matthias is the one name, so I, I don't really have a middle name. So you don't really have a middle name. No, but, you but have it's a double one barrel name. Yeah. It's that makes you Matthias. Really, yeah. That makes you really posh. No, but it's the wrong answer. No, no, the answer <laughs> is right. That makes it the wrong answer. He, he, yeah, he, he doesn't have a middle name. He wants to have so our yeah, point. No, like no, no, point no. Kimmy, David, had a, David had a point. The answer is, the answer is correct. The yeah. question was wrong. Yeah. 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 It's, um, <laughs> it's not that I don't trust you, but I've just got to go by the card here. You know, the, this has been checked and checked and yeah. double checked. You researched it on the internet, didn't you? So yeah, you got it wrong. Come on. Yeah. We have to have a It's still a point. I'll be generous later, don't worry. Uh, Shell. <laughs> Shell delivered 25% of the total performance gain from Seven Kimmy's 2015 Ferrari power unit. We know it got better as the season went on. 25% of that performance gain came from Shell. True or false? It's true. You know that? Yes, I know. Yeah, he felt the grunt underneath his seat. It is true. Hey. <laughs> Kimmy went to Italian true. school when he joined Ferrari in 2007. Does he speak any words? Ciao. Well, <laughs> yeah, you should know that. What about you? You tell me. I would say that's wrong. You would say that's wrong? Yes. Yeah. You would be correct in that. <laughs> oh, well done. How many Italian words Is do it? you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, uh, I don't think we, I need to learn Italian to, to, to drive in Ferrari. Obviously, we try to make the best best results and if I, if I can speak one day is, I would like it but um, you know I was pretty <laughs> in school when I was in <laughs> young age and uh, I even didn't learn to uh, uh, speak English in school so I learned it later when I moved to England so you know I, I really not gonna 
try to <laughs> try to go and learn it in this age now because it's not gonna it's gonna take a while. So. I've always wanted to ask this. You, you say you were pretty bad at school. Did, mm. uh, what what age did you leave school, and, and was there anything you liked about it? Well, I think uh, at the moment this uh, when you are there for sure you know, like like a lot of uh, things like that. But afterwards you probably you, know, you see a bit more nicer sides of school. But um, I, I think I finished. I never really finished the normal school, and then was uh, maybe one year kind of car mechanic uh, school. But then I stopped it one day and went to 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 live in England. So. Um, did I like? Uh, I was good in sports and uh, like the handcrafts and stuff, but the rest was uh, pretty, pretty bad. So. <laughs> you can whip you up a lovely potter's wheel, well, that's what a I'm lovely thinking. mug and a bowl set. Yeah. There you go. Good. You know, Finland's the most literate country in Europe. Everyone's got a library card. Yeah, uh, no, I don't know exactly if they have, but as we get. How the hell do you know that? But Get on to us, and I'll tell you some other interesting facts. <laughs> Excellent. Like it. We'll move on then. Kimmy wanted his parents to call him James when he was a young man after watching James Hunt on television. Is that true or is that false? Could be true. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't James think Hunt? Fool. I am not in me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see I your reaction. Well. <laughs> true or false? Kimmy wanted his parents to call him James. No, it's wrong. It is completely wrong. Okay. You Good. wanted to be like James Hunt, but you never wanted to be called James. No, I'm happy to be who I am. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Um, in which case, thank you very much indeed. We move on to Team so Riker. How many, how many points do we have? Three. Seven. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to school. You, you, were, good, you were good in school. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Team Raikkonen, your true or false question. Sebastian Vettel only ever gets into or out of his F1 car on the left-hand side. Uh, I think that is. I've never seen him get in from the right. I don't know. I, I, I don't <laughs> look when he goes in the car, so, so I have no idea. We are not on the side of the. He, he's always in the car when I get in. Yeah. It is true. Why is that? I don't know. Started a habit and kept it. So. When did you start? Well, I guess when I started uh, racing in cars. And then. I don't know, there's a yeah, stupid saying in German that you could say it's better luck to jump in from the left, but it doesn't really make sense. You could do the other way <laughs> You could do it the other way around as well, from right to left, but yeah, it feels more natural now to get in from the left. Excellent. And if you got in from the right, would you feel like you were just going to have a really bad day then? I've never tried. Go on, try this weekend. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you superstitious? Uh, question number two. Sebastian Vettel wanted to be Michael Jackson if he wasn't a racing driver. I know one guy here somewhere who wants to be Michael Jackson there. <laughs> <laughs> that man he over knows there. all the moves, everything. Yeah. yeah. He can moonwalk. Yeah, everything. Dance, you all the dance, everything. You can do it now. He's got abnormal feet. He, can he travels the with a glove. <laughs> yeah. He does. Yeah. He and has the, the glove and everything. Yeah. And the monkey, or? The monkey is not. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite uh, false. No, 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 no. I know. Really? No, no. You yes, think it's true? Uh, yes, it's true. Because last year in an interview, he told us. This. Yes, it's true. It's true? It or is not? true. Ah. It is true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wanted to be Michael memory. Jackson. I have a good memory. Yeah, well, yeah. I've, I've, yeah, I think as a child, you always want to be something. And I was running around our house grabbing between my legs and screaming <laughs> but when I realized when I realized what the grabbing between the legs meant then I wanted to be a racing driver <laughs> well you have other people that grab between your legs as they're doing your belts up these yeah. days and um, favorite Michael Jackson record uh, there's a lot I'm not a massive massive Michael Jackson fan now I was back then but uh, yeah, I, I think I didn't really understand what he was singing about. That was uh, the good thing, but uh, Thriller, I think, is one of the classic ones. Thriller. You know when you have the headphones on before you go out for, for qualifying? It's not Michael Jackson. No, what do you listen to? Uh, Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters? Yeah. Good choice. I always visioned you with Rammstein. No. You know, some good German marching. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. 
I would crash, I think. <laughs> uh, question number three. Sebastian Vettel became superstitious after hearing Stevie Wonder's hit record Superstition when he was a child. <laughs> Well, he is superstitious, as we've already heard. Absolutely. There's the, um, there's the old coin in the boot. There's the old rabbit's, fluffy rabbit's ear when he was at Red Bull. But, um, I don't know. When he heard Stevie Wonder? No. I have no idea. They've I all mean, been true. <laughs> They've all been true so far. You guys fast. know more about... They've all been true so far, so it must be false. Him. False? false? Uh, absolute <laughs> load of rubbish. Complete and <laughs> utter false. That one. <laughs> Did you put your glasses on so you weren't yeah. getting any clues out there? <laughs> <laughs> or just Stevie doing Wonder. a Stevie Wonder impression? <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, Sebastian's middle name is Norbert. Sebastian Norbert <laughs> Fettel. Well, his dad's name is Norbert. Is it some sort of German thing to have your middle name from your dad? I don't know. Sebastian Norbert Fettel. Is that true no, or is that I, false? I never heard of I this. haven't heard. I don't, no, I don't think it's true. I don't think it's true. False. True? No, I don't think it's false. I don't it's think it's true. I don't think it's true. I think it's false. false. You have a false? Yeah. Said? It's wrong. What's your middle name? None. Doesn't it's have one. No. Same no. like no. me. No. And you came a point to that. Exactly. Yeah, but he hasn't got the hyphen. It's not Sebastian Blank Fettel. Like Kimmy Matthias Reichert. No, Sebastian hyphen Blank. Yeah, it's hyphen Blank. You've got to let it go, Kimmy. You've got to let this go, I'm afraid. Uh, you're still not getting a point. Uh, the, you do for that question, though. Uh, question number five. Shell V-Power race fuel, which Sebastian and Kimmy use on the track, contains at least 99% the same type of compounds a shell unleaded road fuel. So the yes. stuff you put in yeah, the tank. Yes, yes. The answer is yes. The answer it's is true. true. No. Correct. Well, well done. done. And that brings to an end round one, ladies and gentlemen. The scores are Team Raikkonen with five points, Team Fettel with four points. Great catch up. So we move on to round two, then, ladies and gentlemen, where we ask, what track is that? And it means that you have to turn around and look at the screen. Team Fettel first. Uh, we've got some pictures uh, of tracks or specific parts of tracks. I want to know what track is it, and then for a bonus point, you can tell me what the corner is. What track is it, and for a bonus point, what the corner is as well. Particularly fetching luminous cone. But where is that? Yeah, the cone is not there normally. <laughs> so, well, certainly I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's not. It's not valid. I want the next picture because with the cone, it's really confusing. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, it's really confusing. <laughs> no, there's, the, the, the cone stays for the time uh, being. We couldn't get out of the trap when the cone wasn't there. Uh, oh, uh, what do we think, guys? I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's on the current calendar. There's asphalt there on the skip road. Maybe it can be It's really difficult. I. Okay, it's really difficult. Can I get the first letter? Uh, A. 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 Yeah. Yeah, but we we <laughs> haven't been there then. This is a massive cheat. Yes, you have. I'll give I'll give you a, a help as well. You'll give me one. You've been there many times. <laughs> With A. Yeah. Austin. If you can't get it, guys. Ah, yeah, it's Austin. Yeah, it's well done. Yeah, it's turn uh, turn. Hang on. Ten. Nope. It is turn one. You can't really tell the drop on that ah. one because we did it quite tight. But that's turn one at Austin. This one's a little bit easier. That's Hockenheim. And whereabouts? Uh, last corner, I think, is turn, I don't know, 16, 15, yeah. 16. Pit straight, I'll two give easy. you that one. Let's move on. Oh, too Into easy. Lagos. And where? Uh, turn uh, nine, ten. No, um, I'm going to offer that over because Ted's already said it. Center S. It is the Center ah, S. Yeah. Next one's up. even easier. Spa, Spa. Eau Rouge, that entrance of Eau Rouge. Rouge. And this one? Monza, yeah. and that's uh, oh, Ascari. That is Ascari, turn 10. Well done, we'll tot up the points and we move on to Team Raikkonen and your five bits of track. Come on, Kimmy. I mean, normally you're going a bit faster through here, so you possibly wouldn't notice the beautiful grass, the freshly laid asphalt. I think it's asphalt. That might be Silverstone. The freshly laid asphalt, because it could be a track we haven't been to much in recent years. I'm giving you a clue because it's not I gave her the clue for Austin. No. No. Did Mexico. you say Mexico? She did say no, Mexico. I don't know. Is that <laughs> your final answer? Say yes. Yes. It is Mexico, but where yes. is Mexico? Yeah. Uh, is Mexico? 
It is Mexico. Wow. Yeah, see? It's yeah. beginning um, beginning of where they mullered the S's. It is the beginning of where they mullered the S's. Well done, Ted. Uh, this one should be quite easy. Uh, that's uh, Melbourne, Albert Park. Yep, but where? Uh, isn't that the... Uh, Kimmy, you're just staring blankly at the screen there. What about us on the track? Melbourne. That's the exit. That's, <laughs> that's the exit of the fast chicane, isn't it? It's the exit of the fast chicane. It is not. It is isn't turn it? three. Martin Brown's favourite corner. Is it? Uh, we move on. Whereabouts? Uh, um, Suzuka. Suzuka, yes, but where? On the track. Boom. Nice. Uh, <laughs> you know. That's that's the last you came. Huh? No, it's not the last you came. Seb? Turn eleven. Hairpin. Yep. Turn ten. Good. Well done. And well, this one. No, it depends that's how here. you count. Yeah, you drive. If you count the ride kink as turn ten, then this is turn. Okay. Yeah. We we go by the FIA map. Here, it's, it's here. It's here. Think. It's here. It's yeah. over there. It's here. It's over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that mean? Pool. That's swimming here pool. and it's over there. Oh, it is the swimming pool at Monaco. Yeah, and finally. Well, Crofty, by the mobile phone mast in the uh, <laughs> background, <laughs> I would say that that is a continental circuit. The level of downforce would suggest. Kimmy, Germany. I would imagine this is one of the corners and the sequence of corners that you enjoy driving the most. And that's, that's, that's too much of a help. Beckett. Yeah, but he needs that. Look at those yeah, eyes. Look at those eyes. Look at that face. How can you not help that? <laughs> England. <laughs> Where's your name? England. Silverstone. Yeah. Whereabouts? The Essex. Beckett. Be Beckett. Maggots and Beckett. Yeah. No, I can't give you a bonus point for that. I will give you the point for Silverstone. Continental and Mast. What? <laughs> that tree, that's the cops. That's the that's the cops. You're not gonna get it. It's chapel. It's the end. Chapel, it's time it's 14. The, it's the end of the sequence of corners. Alright, know it all. Yeah. That's why he's a four-time <laughs> world champion and you think that Silverstone's somewhere on the continent. With that, ladies and gentlemen, the scores on the doors at the end of round two. <laughs> Team Raikkonen with eight points, Team Fettel with nine points. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. How did that work? How did we lose so many points so quickly? <laughs> And we move on to round three, which cunningly is entitled the mystery guest round, because we're bringing up a mystery guest. Uh, five points to the winning driver who can identify our mystery guest. But sadly, you're going to have to put the blindfold on. So uh, we need to touch. Or you do work? need to touch the mystery guest. They're uh, going to stand in the middle. Can I, get, can I get the lady and he gets the bloke? Well, you both get the same person. <laughs> At the same time. You, have to, work, you have to kind of work <laughs> together. <laughs> It is Monaco, like you're not used to. Your teammates, your teammates can give you clues. Obviously, shouting out the identity of the mystery guest is not really a clue. That's just too much. So put your blindfold on. Well, hang on, they've got to stand up first. Well, you can lead the boys, oh, can't okay. you? Well, when, our, when our mystery guest comes in, you can lead the boys. Blindfolds <laughs> on. No peeking, no cheating. <laughs> not my trouble, Kimmy, you've, you've pulled right. halfway down your eyes, man. Okay. Huh? I'm going to see you. Stop cheating. <laughs> right. Uh, can you put your sunglasses on over your blindfold as well? Because that way... It looks, it looks really bad, you mean. It looks... Yeah, that looks bad. Right, that's it. <laughs> Kimmy, can you put your sunglasses on over there? Because otherwise, you know, your Formula One drivers, I know you're going to push it to the limit. Right, Federica <laughs> and Tanya, get ready to lead them. Let's bring in the mystery guest, please. And here is <laughs> our... Oh, wow. da, 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 da. <laughs> our mystery <laughs> guest. What a clamour in the house. <laughs> Uh, right, lead the boys to the centre. Uh, if you can face Mr. Guest, the camera, please. Right, uh, stand either side and um, yeah, feel away, guys. Yeah. It is a very short guy, that's, that's very true. <laughs> as appearing at no, the uh, no Stratford upon Avon Coliseum. That's weird. As, as that is weird. It's a guy, definitely. Yeah, definitely <laughs> a guy. Right. Um, Davide, uh, our mystery guest is a guy. We know he's a guy. What would you uh, say is a clue? Uh, oh, hang on, he was a driver. 
Okay, Ted, what was John Wine Driver. Hang on, hang on. Just come on, hang on. Ladies and gentlemen. Well done, Kimmy. I was going to say John Lindsay. Very good. I was going to say John Lindsay, but. Very good. Very good. Yeah, no, I <laughs> Johnny Herbert, the man who finished on the podium 20 years ago in Monaco by coming last in the race was our mystery guest. Well done. Five points to Team Raikkonen. How you got it from man boobs and a short driver, I do not know. And so, at the end of our mystery round, uh, Johnny Herbert can go off and do whatever he needs to do in Monaco now, <laughs> and we can carry on with the scores. 13 points to Team Raikkonen, 9 points to Team Vettel. Round four is where we name that F1 person. Each team has got 60 seconds to name the person featured in 10 photos, so to the screens please, one point per correct answer. Here's your first one. Ross Braun. Ross Braun is correct. You, you both... Alberto Ascari. Alberto Ascari is correct. <laughs> Luca Barone. You're very good at this. Uh, sing. Uh, um... Balbir Singh. Balbir Singh, Michael Schumacher's former physio. Hang on, Crofty, we're not meant to be Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso, how did you get that? Fernando Alonso. Eddie Irvine. Eddie Irvine, that's very good. That's it now. He's a beautiful baby. It's a beautiful baby. Are we sure it's... Yeah. Yeah, it's someone who works in F1. It's you? <laughs> Kimmy Riker, that is incredible. It is. Is. Ah! it is. How did you get it? That was me. It is. Crafted. No, I was kidding. Yeah, yeah, I was kidding. Who is it? Is him. Is it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> and I'd like to say that those shirts were all the rage Look, back in about 1972. Look. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think Adrian, Adrian uh, still wears the same shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Oh. So lovely back then. What happened? Uh, right, moving on. Who's this? Federica. Um, yeah. Yeah, trust you to know that. <laughs> Who's that? Maybe Ted. Ted. <laughs> Sailor, Ted. Suit. Sailor suits were all the rage. Yeah. Sailor suits were all the rage. Yeah. Very good. Uh, good drive. Right. And one more. Oh, it's Kimmy, no? It is Kimmy. Yeah, well no, done. Very good. Uh, You've yeah, got yeah, wrong answer. It's my brother. Okay, uh, then. It's your brother? Yeah, look. No. Put the picture back. Put the picture no. back. <laughs> I'm on the back, you see, on the left. Yeah. Oh, it's him. So you've got it wrong again. Hang on a minute, Crofty. <laughs> we all got this clear, Crofty. Hang on two seconds. You're saying that is my brother. Is your brother. And there. Uh, yes? yes. But that's the one we wanted them to get. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, who researched this? Ten minutes we spent on the internet researching this. How could we not get it? Um, right. <laughs> So we didn't go. Oh, right. Team Raikkonen, uh, photo number one for you, please. Uh, that's Mama Rosella. Mama Rosella. Oh, well done, the owner of the Montana restaurant. Who's that? Chris Dyer. It yeah. is, the uh, race engineer. Ah, Prost. 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 Uh, that is the Pampas Bull. Um, uh, oh, Argentine. Beppe Gonzalez. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Jose Gonzalez. Yeah, his but, nickname yeah. is Beppe oh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Beppe. Right. Yes. John Surtees. John Surtees. Guy. Uh, guy. <laughs> guy something. Yeah. His name's Guy. Yeah. yeah. It is. Well, he is guy. guy. That's true. Uh, guy Frobisher. <laughs> guy. I know, but what does he do? Twistleton Smythe. He, he sorts out all the shell oil for. Right, I'll give you that. Guy Lovett. He is the innovation manager. Guy, what's the last name? Sorry? Last name? Lovett. Lovett. Shine. Lovett. Jean? Oh, Lacey. Which, Which one? one? Which one we have to <laughs> show? <laughs> the car or all of them. the driver? Well, or all of them. Assume it, you know, that it, we know that you're in the background on this one, so we'll, we'll, we'll have the, the short guy in the foreground. Jean Tuff. Absolutely. Who is in the background? Tanya. Tanya. Oh. <laughs> Did you get that? Tanya. Ten. Nice tenure. So David, nice. David, yeah. David. He hasn't changed at all. I like haircut. Nice haircut. I have the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sebi. Very nice. Yeah, she did have the same, but by that stage you had a parting at some point. Very good. I'm impressed. We got lots of answers correct in that one. That was round four. Name that oh, F1 yes. person. And the scores on the doors moving into round five. Our final round are... But the one Team Fettel has 19 fast. points, Team Raikkonen 25 <laughs> points. <laughs>
So plenty to make up then for Team Fettel as we move into our last round. Hands <coughs> on buzzers, everybody. Yeah, Let's test your reactions. Kimmy, you, you can sit up if you want or just you know, relax. It's up to you <laughs> entirely. But as long as you can reach the buzzer, as long as you can reach the buzzer, that's a good thing. Two points per correct answer. And we have eight questions. Question number one. Max Verstappen is the youngest Grand Prix winner at 18. Yes, he is. But that wasn't the question. Sebastian Vettel is second at the age of 21, but who is the third youngest winner? Fernando Alonso. Fernando Alonso is correct, 22 years, 26 days. The oldest Grand Prix winner won the French Grand Prix at 53 years old, but what was his name? Juan Manuel Fangio? No, two points off for that. We pass. We pass. You're going to pass. Luigi We've got Fagioli. Uh, We've got How many Drivers now. World Championships has Shell and Scuderia Ferrari won together? Oh, How many Drivers it's World it's Championships it's have they won together? You sure? 12 is the correct what? answer. Well yes. done, Tanya. Oh. Incredible. Who holds the joint record with Michael Schumacher for the most fastest laps in a season? Kimmy. Kimmy does. 10 in 2008. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he needed a sit up. Which circuit has held the most Grand Prix since 1950 and how many has it held? Monza. Monza is correct. Yeah, but we pressed first. Uh, no, I was sure. going to say the wrong answer. Yes, so. that's yeah. right. How many has it held? How many? I don't know. It's easy to work out if you know how many World Championship years there's been. Well, six, All right. 60. Hang on. 60. 61? No, it's wrong. I'll give you a chance to get a bonus for that. No, they, they lost two points. Well, they, they, no, get, they no. get one point. Come on. They get one point and lose two. one point. So it's <laughs> nil at the moment. But. Uh, 65. 65 is the correct answer. You get a point, they get nothing for that one. <laughs> it's basically every single year, yeah, bar one. one. Yeah. How many samples of fuel and lubricant yeah. the Shell's trackside technicians analyse on average during a full season? I'll give it to the nearest hundred if you wish. Uh, on average. On average, so what they do? Maybe the whole know, season. 20 per race weekend, probably. 20 times 20. 150. I'm not sure of it. I'm not sure. Tanya. 1,600. 1,000. 1,600. Yes. Correct. Well done, Tanya. <coughs> oh, come on. 1,600 samples She's really in a season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? She's She's really in your head. Oh, you have your hair. I smell. No, no, no. No, no, no. Of course not. No, she's not cheating. I need some glasses. Yeah. Tanya would never cheat. Yeah. I smell. No. I'm I read it. Which driver? I'm Italian. That is Italian. Something you going know. on here. Which she driver has know. contested the most Grand Prix in a Formula One World Championship history? Do you know how many? 300 something. 53. 23. Ah, but, right. I wasn't, but I that was just a, you know, just asking you if you knew how many. It wasn't many written there. Enough. How many? <laughs> and which team has won the most consecutive constructors championships? Ferrari. Ferrari. You got to press no, the no. buzzer. I was yeah, first. I Ferrari. He was Scuderia first. Ferrari. And do you know how many? Consecutively? I know. Is it a question Six. or no? No. Six is the right answer. Oh, well no. done. Is that a question brings though. To an end. points. Point. There was a question. There's well, more points point, for that. You get two points for it. Yeah, for the Ferrari and then for six. You get two points. Stop. You get your points for that. For heaven's sake. <laughs> and that quick fire buzz around brings to an end our <laughs> Ferrari quiz here in Monaco. And the winning team are. <laughs> with 29 points to 27, it is Team <laughs> Fettel, <Hey>! ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Which means, Seb, you get to present your winning team. <laughs> with What's that? Two okay. samples that, secret, that we took, not of you and your latest fitness <laughs> test, uh, but that is the fuel that Kimmy and Seb have been using. Davide, Tanya, we'll keep you going over a Monaco weekend. And let's face it, we all need beefing up with a bit of fuel this weekend. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, uh, you win the star prize. Well done, Kimmy, you proved that you know an awful lot about Formula One, especially <laughs> photos of me as a young boy. Thank you very much indeed uh, for taking part. Uh, let's do this again next year, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. Not bad. <laughs> Love it. Enjoy Sky Sports F1 Live on all screens, on the go, and the best bits on demand.